Okay. Welcome to the committee. Good afternoon, Madam Chair and members. Uh, before we get, begin, I'd like to uh, take the amendments that were suggested in the committee analysis that state it is not the intent of the legislature to authorize law enforcement officers to conduct searches that are arbitrary, capricious, or for the sole purpose of harassment. Uh, Senate Bill 679 ensures continuity of law for all offenders released into the community to serve out the rest of their sentences. This bill would make a defendant released on mandatory supervision subject to search and seizure by a peace officer at any time with or without cause and with or without a warrant. All offenders released on post-release community supervision are subject to search and seizure wa waivers. Parolees are also subject to the same waiver. However, the same is not true for offenders released on mandatory supervision. Existing penal code allows judges to impose a split sentence with a period of incarceration followed by a mandatory term of supervision for offenders convicted of a wide variety of criminal offenses, including auto theft, second degree burglary, and selling controlled substances. These offenders serve part of their sentences in local prison and part of their term in the community, receiving credit off uh, of their term in custody. The level of scrutiny for an offender still serving their prison term, like those released onto mandatory supervision, should be higher and more restrictive. Moreover, if a defendant on mandatory supervision moves from county to county, there is no way for the law enforcement officer in the new county to consistently know whether the offender is subject to a uh, search and seizure waiver. This bill provides consistency for a higher risk and a higher needs population that needs consistency in order to transition into the community. I have with me Rachel Soloff on behalf of the San Diego County District Attorney Bonnie Dumanis to address any questions that you may have regarding the specifics of mandatory supervision. Ms. Soloff. Thank you. For the last two and a half years, I've worked with the <coughs> mandatory supervision population in San Diego County. This population is across the board a high risk and high needs, criminally sophisticated population. They need structure and accountability. Keep in mind that this population has already been found ineligible or unsuitable for probation. They are not probationers and they should not be treated like them. There are two main, supports in su main points in support of this bill. The first one, and perhaps most importantly, is a records issue. When a police officer stops an offender and requests information from dispatch, dispatch checks, wants, warrants, and the supervised release file, or the SRF. This is the database where statewide search terms are found. However, the only agency that is mandated by law to enter information into this system is the CDCR. Local counties are not required to enter information in the system. It's voluntary. Judicially ordered count conditions are not in this database with any form of consistency. So if an officer stops someone on Interstate 5 in Northern California and the person is from Southern California, there's a very good chance that that officer will not get the information that he or she needs to safely proceed. With the implementation January 1, 2015 of presumptive split sentences, the need for this bill is more urgent than ever. It is imperative to public safety and law enforcement safety to enact a statewide search condition. The second main, support, main point in support of this bill is that these individuals are serving prison sentences. They are not probationers like I stated before. They are akin to parolees and PRCS offenders in criminogenic needs. They are serving their prison sentences, however, they're not serving them within the walls of the prison Oh, people will be precise and to the point, not that it's particularly you, but we've been asked to recess the meeting at this point. We will reconvene and you can take up where you left off at 1.30. In room 20.40. And it will be in room 20.40. 20.40, thank you. So thank you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you left.